In today's video, we're opening an old school pack collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video, as you saw, we are opening up a pack collection, but first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a Retro Pack Green Baboon, a Machine King from DL4, and then we have a Blue Eyes. It looks like somebody like wiped this off the name, so I don't think it's actually a misprint, but it's still a really cool old school card. I don't know. I don't know what happened with this card. It's kind of interesting. I got in the collection, so you guys can win it. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about these packs that we're getting potentially, and uh, how much we should pay for them. And speaking of giveaways, I'm all the way caught up on announcing giveaways and like actually sending out the giveaways, so make sure you go check out the community community tab a few people have not claimed them so go check that out if you have missed it also don't give anyone your information in the comments because telegram all that stuff do not send anyone money do not reply to those people it's only on the youtube community tab is where i'm announcing them so those are all scammers so just ignore them all right let's get into it first we have another package that's not the pack collection but was sent in by this looks like it says tommy he sent me a message on instagram i think it was a different name but i don't know if he has a, a note in here all right this name's a little smudged and uh yeah i don't think it was Tommy but it's something close to that so he sent us some stuff in one for a giveaway and one for actually me so we're gonna see what it is all right first we have the giveaway right here let's get into this and see what these are okay here's what we have in the giveaway we have ooh some Japanese cards the Unizabi ooh and the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon so those will be added to the three cards I gave away very nice the Unizabi and I think this is Coral Dragon I believe pretty cool there then we have Ruxin's cards to keep okay what are these gonna be I really have no idea I think he might have told me and now I'm trying to remember what it was okay i found the note i found the note we're good to go we found the note all right nice ruxin your videos are awesome man keep up the great work been subscribed to you for two years now and your videos made me come back to collecting cards again that's awesome two years that's actually insane how long it's been at this point thank you and here's a token of gratitude for you there are three other cards for the giveaway three separate giveaways or all three let's put them all in one i think is what we're gonna do uh and add it to the giveaway we already have so mega giveaway so it was tommy i was right tommy thanks a lot dude okay let's see what he sent us it's in one of these nice fancy uh things like what are these called the metal metallic metal down metal things i don't know <laughs> okay so we have a oh whoa wait a second that's not just any solemn strike okay it was taped we got it out all right we have this is not just any solemn strike this is a collector rare solemn strike that he sent us that is pretty insane why does it feel like it's coming out of there wait let me see okay there we go let's check this thing out solemn strike collector rare he's sending me this just as a gift so this is definitely going to be going into the binder this is really really awesome solemn strike we never pulled this card what set was this grand creators well of course we didn't pull it we didn't pull <laughs> our collector rares the entire time for the first two cases but we got that third case that came in clutch but we did not get this this is beautiful man thank you so much tommy i really appreciate this i mean this is not a cheap card so by the way, you guys don't have to do stuff like this. He's just doing this out of the goodness of his heart, which is really cool. I wanted to show that on a video, so I figured this is a good one to do it since we're opening like a collection, you know, he's sending some stuff in. So let's get into the collection of packs. Thanks again, Tommy. All right, let's get into the packs. Here we go. These packs are from, I think it's Sick J25 or something, maybe it's 52. It's something like that on Instagram. It's Sick 25J. I, I was sort of close. So it was in the ballpark. Um, this has a list of everything on it, so I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys by showing you the list. Let's just get into the packs. Our first item here is, what is this called? The GX Next Generation Special Edition. Because when I did special editions, this kept popping up. I was like, does this really count as a special edition? It does have three packs and a promo, so I guess it does. It's just shaped a lot differently. This one's really, really cool because it's CRV, Elemental Energy, and Shadow of Infinity all in the same product. And then the worst packaging ever, opening these up, it's like impossible not to bend anything in here. You know, the packs or the promo. This thing is already done for, I guarantee you. It's probably been bent like 17 times just from like the shape of the you know blister it's really hard to not like have this stuff get bent but it's a really cool item with a lot of cool stuff in it okay next i didn't really realize these were in here i kind of forgot he probably told me let's be honest and i just forgot uh graded cards so okay now i'm sort of remembering these ancient gear beast ulti the exodia the forbidden one um if we do get this stuff all this is going to be for sale all this kind of stuff not the packs keep that in mind we'll probably open those maybe some of them but these specific graded cards will probably be up for sale so if you are interested you can hit me up fiend mega cyber first edition uh alien war oh that's actually a sick card potd retail ulti very cool remember the submarine roid a lot of you guys actually sent me a picture of that which was cool toon world this is first edition uh near mint or not first edition mint i should say psa 9 i'm just losing it 
it. Okay. And then a Needleworm from TP5. If this was TP3, that'd be awesome. I already have this in PSA 10, though. I don't have a TP3 worm anymore. I sold mine. So it'd be nice if I had that. Ooh, next up, we have a CGC card, which, by the way, you have either seen my CGC return or you're seeing it in the next couple of days because it's taking forever to come back from Florida to Tennessee. It's like two states. It's like not that far. You would think it wouldn't take that long. It's been like a week. So it's in Tennessee at this point. So hopefully we will have it. Um, CGC return, let, or not return, but we have a CGC. Ooh, Elements Zero Shining Flare Wingman from Elemental Energy 8.5. Very nice. So graded stuff. I kind of forgot that was in here. I was thinking it was a sealed pack, but uh, there is more sealed packs coming up like this Rise of Destiny Special Edition. Very cool item. Always fun to open these up because there's some good promos in here. Now I'm forgetting what they are. Uh, there is a good promo in a Dark Magician Girl. Just remembered. Uh, so good potential in there. And there's also first edition packs in these special editions. One of the only ones that they did that. So that's also really insane. All right, now now we have a tin with stuff in it let's okay this is some booster packs this is what we were kind of expecting here um i should have been expecting all of it because i'm pretty sure he told me everything he was sending but sometimes there's a lot of messages and i talk to a lot of people and i forget a lot of stuff okay let's see what this is this is 2018 mega 10 we've got pendulum evolution wow that set is insane Okay, it's really bad. Uh, Breakers of Shadow, that's fine. Uh, Cybernetic Revolution. We got some 2019 uh, tournament pack. Very cool. Phantom Darkness. That's unlimited. If that was first edition, that would be nutty. That would be insane. Another one, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, Raging Battle. I don't know where he got these. Ooh, first edition Ancient Prophecy. I actually needed this pack. Uh, I just got one from Yu-Gi-Mo because I didn't know I was getting this here, which if I just read the packs, I wouldn't know. Uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is like faded. Look at Yui's face. He looks like he just threw up or something, or he feels like he's about to throw up. These are all kind of like sun faded or something. Look, they all look different. Notice how different he... Okay, it doesn't look that different. Okay, look at these. You can really see it here. He's like greener here. Very weird. And then a premium pack six. I think these are always the same cards. So that's definitely one to keep sealed for sure. It's like a starter deck of packs. All right, more epic packs. Ooh, Legend of Blue Eyes. And these, by the way, are not the current reprint packs. These are also not the original packs. The original would have the square logo right here with the wavy Konami logo. The current one would have a Konami uh, with no banner here. This banner is a dead giveaway. That is not a reprint. It would have like Konami uh, with just the text and maybe like an outline of them or something like that. Uh, and then this US and Canada, this could be from anywhere from 2003 after they changed the logo up to uh, the last print before 2010, might've been 2005, six, something like that. Not really sure on that one, but uh, these are all, I'm guessing these are all probably from a 10. This is what this looks like, a 2003 10. These are what, the, these, are what these look like. So all five packs, those are all in there. Here's an original Konami logo, 2002, early 2003 Metal Raiders pack, something in there. Very nice. And then here is the, um, you know, the red banner. But this is also not US and Canada, so I don't know where that one comes from. Very interesting. Actually, 2010. This might be a 2010 reprint pack because they did have this logo, but they didn't have US and Canada. Very interesting. Um, there's a lot of different variations of those packs, if you guys didn't know. And it's very interesting to kind of try and figure it out because there were so many different prints of those you know, sets. But that's not all. We got quite a bit more. Let's see what else there is. We have first edition Photon Shockwave. I still need the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ghost Rare for my binder. I don't have it at all. I don't even have light play or anything like that. So I need uh, to get one of those. Maybe we can pull it out of one of these four packs. Pharaonic Guardian. Okay. I just you know, recently noticed that there was purple at the bottom. I don't know how I missed that for like years. And at this point, I realized, oh, there's purple at the bottom the bottom of this it's very weird but it's there it's the skirt thing of hell palmer okay very cool very cool it kind of looks like a labyrinth of nightmare pack that's why i was like wait is there an issue here nope it's just normal okay now we have a bunch of stardust overdrive which these are super fun to open i think they're all unlimited first edition of these are pretty hard to find i also think i might need this unlimited but i definitely need it first edition for the uh majestic star is that what it's called i think that's what it's called i don't actually own one unless it's unlimited i might have like a light play or something like that very nice packs there maybe we'll pull the ghost rare then we won't have to worry about it by the way we have not agreed on a price yet so you, it might have actually already happened before you see the video not really sure so let me know what you think we should pay for these like what are they you know you think that would be a good value for you know us to buy them at or whatever there's still a lot more though let me just show you guys Cyberdark came back another one that i actually needed uh apparently i'm gonna have these sorry you you know for buying those off you and you i didn't actually need them but uh i'm gonna use those too anyway but Cyberdark impact packs these are probably retail i would guess probably not hobby i'll check this after i don't know this off the top of my head i really don't remember i think 61 is probably retail but i can't remember loose hobbies are really hard to find for anything especially cyber dark impact not not especially but just because there's so much retail out there that's what you're probably going to see not like a hobby pack randomly then we have some pretty cool packs that i haven't opened in a while tactical evolution and these are unlimited but like it's tactical evolution i mean that is really really cool we have pulled the ghost Rider rainbow dragon i actually think i 
got a Gosher Unlimited Rainbow Dragon out of a collection I bought. So I got that one. It was like near mint too, which was really awesome. It fit my binder. My first edition is still slabbed up at PSA 9. Uh, so we don't actually have one for the binder. So technically I need one eventually for first edition, but I have the one in the slab. So it's kind of like, eh, I kind of already have them, you know? Then we got some first edition Crimson Crisis. I don't remember if I have this guy in Ghost Rare, the uh, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. The one that got a Ghost Rare before the regular Red Dragon Archfiend. Kind of disrespectful. I don't really understand that, but really cool packs. We don't open first edition of this very often. So this is pretty nice. And then the finale, some really nice packs here. We have first edition stardust overdrive which we already talked about these i definitely do not have this first edition so if this had a ghost rare that would be awesome for my binder unless it was gradable we'd have to grade it you know you just can't not grade a psa 10 one of those but if it was like you know a nine i would probably just keep it raw but very very cool very very nice packs a lot of really cool stuff here i really want to get these so you know we can make videos with them we got to figure out a price and everything but i figured i'd show you all this stuff you know so if we do get it you guys can be like "Ooh, we're gonna open those up sooner at some point and i think that's gonna be a lot of fun so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel also make sure to let me know in the comments how much you think all this stuff is worth shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tomefo show and then a tie show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.